Fact. Yesterday was the hottest day in the Netherlands since recording temperatures. In like 80 years or more, I'm not sure exactly, but it was the hottest day ever recorded. Today, it's even hotter than yesterday. So we actually broke the record twice and I don't think anybody of us is happy with it. So um, yeah, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Uh, I thought you should know. It's hot. It's very hot. All right, so it's hot. We established that and this studio has full on sun the whole day. So I'm gonna be quick about recording this video. It's still, it's, it's manageable right now, but it's gonna be like extremely hot in here and you'll just see me sweating. And I don't think that makes for an interesting video. So um, what have I been up to this week? Well, because of the heat and my brain and body is not fit for it, uh, I couldn't really focus or concentrate. Even as I'm doing this video, I can't really concentrate for long. Um, so my brain has been doing a lot of tiny little changes to Space Grunts too. Um, most of those things, um, they're very important, but you don't really see them because they happen at the back end. Like, um, I don't know, uh, making creatures uh, move in different ways. And you can't see it on a video because you'll just see creatures moving. But behind it, there is code that has changed and was important to change. But um, I have also done a few big things. One of them is creating a little, creating a little creature creator. Yeah, I, I created a little creature creator. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video as I'm also adding a new creature. And I'll show you the drawing of it and then animating it and then putting it into the game using the creature creator. Creature Crea, I should have named it differently. I also added secret walls to the game or a secret room. Uh, basically, it's comparable to the exit room or um, the armory, except with a, it doesn't have a door. It has a wall and you can blow up the wall and then the room opens up and you can enter and get the items in there. Um, it's really pretty, uh, pretty simple, but it didn't take a lot of my brain power to do it. Um, it was just replacing the door with a wall. And if I say it like that, it sounds pretty silly and kind of boring. Moving on. Besides that, I've been adding a bunch of creatures and I've been adding uh, the acid barrels, pretty much famous from the first Space Grunts. Um, you can blow these up, but that required a little bit of gameplay tinkering because you can't shoot as in the first Space Grunts. So I had to fix it in a different way. And I think I came up with an interesting solution. I hope I still have to test it a bit more to see if it actually works out. but. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. But as I mentioned, my brain is starting to turn into mush this whole week. So I did a lot of pixel art and graphic creation because I don't really have to think a lot about it. I can just draw and hope that it turns out okay and looks good. So um, here's some stuff I've been drawing, uh, starting with a new tile set, which is basically the walls and the environment for a new area. <laughs> Alright, and that was the first draft. This is what I created first, but I wasn't really happy with the colors once I put it into the game. Um, it just, it, it, it didn't really look interesting or uh, unique enough compared to the previous worlds. So um, I started tweaking and modifying the colors and the arrangement of stuff and um, this is what I ended up with. <laughs> Thank you. 
and then putting it into the game uh, using the lights and the ambient and all the things around it and uh, we end up with this which looks pretty alien spaceshipy type graphic thingy environment like thing also been creating a variation of creatures and uh, I wanted also to add a little acid based creature because acid is basically the weapon of some of these aliens and this creature is completely made out of acid so I wanted a little fluffy green like oozy thingy alien so um, this is what I came up with Pretty cute little alien acid blubby, right? It can kill you, so just so you know, it can really kill you instantly. Um, anyway, we have this creature, which brings me to the creature creator that I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, I wanted a little tool because um, all these aliens have a lot of properties that in the game specify how they respond or react or whatever. Um, so how often do they walk, how easy will they attack, how often do they attack, how quick will they attack, what are the sound effects attached to it and all those data things are just one big list of numbers which is um, right now I can still follow what I'm doing but if I return to this game in like six months or a year or longer then I have no idea what I'm doing so I wanted a little editor that made it a little easier to just figure it out so I created a little editor it took me a few hours because it's very basic very simple and not very user friendly but it does the job for now <laughs> So here we can really just modify all these properties that the aliens have or the enemies and um, we can set the sound effects for it and we can tweak them around a little bit and when we're happy we save all this data to a little file. Alright so the little file that's created by our creature creator is pretty much just source code. I decided that's the easiest format for me because I can then copy it, paste it into the actual game source code and use it or modify it if I want at a later date. So in the future I might just export to like a data file or something so that people can actually modify this uh, from in the game and then load it and I don't know yet. It, it's, it's an option but for now I just need this source code to be generated and for me this does the trick and I don't have to stare at all these numbers. I can just use the little editor I created and uh, modify the creatures. And once we're happy with these modifications, we boot up the game and check it out. This is our little acid alien coming to life. And that's it for this week's video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. There's a lot of pixel pushing this week. Um, next week, maybe some more technical and Cody programming game stuff but it was just too hot to come up with anything interesting. Um, I, I hope next week will be cooler and I can do a lot more work because it felt like a very slow week with this heat for people living in warmer areas of the world. I don't know how you do it. I honestly have no idea how you do it, but I'm done with this. Um, this heat is not normal. I'm done with this video. I'm gonna go and uh, I hope I see you guys next week. Bye. But it's hot, it's very hot. Oh, my brain is wandering off due to the heat. In this video, and that's a weird sentence. No, that's a weird, that's, no. Man, my brain is, oh. 
goes like as I like it. Just a poom poom. It's warm in here. So man, man, man. And then putting it in the accompanying this web this. And now we have a visitor on camera. There's a fly buzzing around now. I guess he wanted to be on camera as well. Start your own YouTube channel. Um, I have nothing left to say. 